G'day guys, this is Tyr, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today we will be going in depth on the perk known as Ricochet, and I will be explaining a few secret interactions and synergizations that this perk has, and that I bet a lot of you did not know about. Basically, this perk is a lot better than you think it is, and is possibly one of the best defensive perks in the game for PvE players. Let's get straight into the secret interactions, properties, and abilities that this perk has. Firstly, this is just to clarify and explain the perk's primary function a little further, since the game's perk description doesn't do a good job at all that. At max rank, this perk states that it will have an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's ranged damage. And then it also makes a point to clarify that this does not work in PvP. Now, the perk description is terrible. It's a bad explanation of what this perk actually does, and downplays it a lot because it actually does a lot more behind the scenes. I'll do my best to explain what specifically this perk really does. So, basically when your enemy's range attacks are deflected, it actually removes all incoming damage entirely for that deflected projectile. Essentially, making one projectile do absolutely zero damage towards yourself in that instance where the ricochet perk activated. And we know when this perk is being activated because we can visually see it in the left hand side of the screen with the vault boy and the bullets flying around him. That will pop up each and every time that a bullet is deflected, as well as an audio cue of a little ching noise when a bullet is deflected off of you. Each time one of those two things happen, a bullet is deflected and one of the following things in the rest of this video will also happen. So yeah, that's the cues. Meaning ranged attacks from enemies are 100% dismissed when this perk is activated. Almost the same way serendipity works, except obviously it can work while at full health, as well as low health, and obviously only working on ranged attacks. So yes, if this perk does proc, you will take absolutely zero damage from the projectile that this perk procced on. But that's not all. The perk does state that it will reflect some of the damage back onto the enemy that fired upon you. The way this works is, once a projectile is ricocheted back towards the shooter, then 25% of what that shooter's damage would have been on you is then applied onto itself. So in short, with this perk on, you do have a flat 18% chance to avoid all ranged damage even if you're at full health, and also forcing your enemies to do 25% of their own damage onto themselves per activation of the perk. And combining this with some other defensive perks leads to some very, very tanky builds. But this isn't all the perk offers. It actually has a few secrets that I will shed some light on. But for now, let's just discuss another misconception about this perk. Some people think Ricochet only deflects bullets fired from enemies holding ballistic weapons. But those are not the only things that Ricochet can deflect. Ricochet can deflect almost anything that is a ranged attack. For example, this includes projectiles fired from energy weapons like plasma bolts and laser beams. Hell, it can even deflect the head-mounted laser beams from the Imposter Sheep Squatch and all other Assaultrons. Yeah, that's right. I was blown away when I learnt this. It's actually quite insane how effective this perk is at protecting you from ranged damage. Now, there is a lot that this perk does not deflect. I will have that on screen right now. Thank you to the Data Miners Discord for providing me with this picture. But in case the point hasn't been drilled home yet, let me break it down for you one last time. That's a flat 18% chance at max rank of Ricochet to take zero damage from all normal projectiles, including the head laser cannon from the Imposter Sheep Squatch. And that fucker does a lot of damage, so this is great. <laughs> but simultaneously, it also deflects 25% of the damage the enemy dealt back onto itself. It's really insane. Now actually getting into the secret little synergizations that this perk has, we have a nice little interaction with another little old perk called Tenderizer. Yep, that's right, this perk has an actual synergization with this perk. Basically, if Ricochet procs while being fired upon from an enemy, it will reflect this enemy's projectile and a portion of its damage back onto itself. And the great thing here is, this actually counts as you, the player, damaging the enemy. This means that if you have the perk tenderizer on, then the target will take increased damage from all sources. Obviously that is, the target will take 10% more damage if you have max rank of tenderizer on. Now I don't know about you guys, but this is pretty fucking big. Being able to apply the tenderizer effect 
on enemies without even actually shooting or hitting them is a great bonus to have in your arsenal. And yeah, this works for all enemies that can fire projectiles at you, so long as you have both of these perks equipped. Now, after hearing that, it's only natural for you to realize that this perk also synergizes with the perk known as Suppressor, in exactly the same way it did with Tenderizer. So, essentially all enemies that this perk activates on will do less damage output. In fact, they will do 30% less damage if you have the max rank of Suppressor equipped. So, yeah, obviously this is a huge advantage. Just having the chance for all ranged enemies to have their projectile deflected back onto them and then not only do you and everyone around you do more damage to them because of Tenderizer, but then the target also now does less damage due to Suppressor. It's just an amazing interaction and I'm so surprised that it's actually in the game to be honest. And now the next interaction and synergistic property is a little bit meta for the end game players because I know a lot of you won't be able to make full use of this unfortunately. But basically, if you have yourself a full set of Strangler Heart Pair Armor with this perk, then use it. Because while wearing the Strangler Heart Pair Armor, any projectile that gets reflected off of you back onto an enemy will become poisoned with the armor's acid damage effect. As if you yourself had shot them or stood right next to them. Essentially, this happens because the Ricochet perk makes the game think that the reflected bullets is coming from you. Which I guess technically it is, but... Yeah, this means that no matter how far away enemies are, if they shoot you and the perk activates on their shot, then not only will a portion of their damage be reflected back onto them, but the projector will also be carrying the acidic poison effect from your power armor. And obviously you can see all of this taking effect in the background footage right now. Obviously I am way out of the radius zone that I would be required to stand next to him for him to take the acid damage and I have not shot him a single time, yet there is a green cloud of acidic poison damage around the super mutant every single time the ricochet perk procs. Pay attention to that, so this clearly shows that it is working, it clearly shows that every time the ricochet perk procs, my acidic strangler heart pair armor uh, poison damage it gets reflected from me back onto him and again you can clearly see this in his health bar his health is going down much faster than if we were just letting him take regular ricochet reflection damage and i don't think i need to explain how good this interaction is obviously it's very very good to have multiple enemies take acidic poison damage over time without you having to even lift a finger and the final secret synergization that the Ricochet perk has is amazing, and probably the best out of all of these. The reflected projectiles have the same properties as your equipped weapon, so that means that your reflected damage will do more damage if you're holding a bloodied weapon, it will pierce through armor if you're holding an anti-armor weapon, etc etc etc. But the most important attribute here in my opinion is the vampire's legendary effect. Yeah, that's right. Sure, dealing more reflected damage is nice with bloodied and anti-armored and junkies etc, but you just can't beat getting healed by the shots of your enemies. I mean, simply by just holding a vampire's weapon of any kind in your hands and having the ricochet perk activate, will apply the vampiric effect on the reflected projectiles and actually heal you. This is an amazing discovery and makes the high health tank builds all that more potent. Now, Vampires is just the biggest benefit in my opinion. Obviously, there are a lot of possibilities out there when it comes to which legendary weapon you hold and how it will affect your ricocheted projectiles. Obviously, things like medics won't work since ricocheted bullets can't be activated in vats, stuff like that, stalkers, random stuff like that won't work with this. It's just things that will have a flat bonus that can be applied to a projectile, i.e. more damage with bloodied junkies, piercing through armor with anti-armor, and healing you with vampires. That's all I can really explain on that one. Now I bet you're all wondering why the hell this even happens in the first place. Basically, it's pretty simple. It can all be explained due to one little thing in the game's files with this perk. When a projectile is ricocheted from yourself back onto the enemy that fired it, the game changes the ownership of the projectile from the enemy to you, the player. Basically, that right there is the singular reason why all of this works. It's the reason why the Tenderizer and Suppressor perk 
work upon reflecting projectiles. It's the reason that you can heal yourself while holding a vampire's weapon and reflecting a bullet back at an enemy. It's the reason that you can apply acidic damage with Strangleheart Parama simply by just not even doing anything, just having the bullet and projectile reflected from yourself back towards the enemy. That line of code right there is the reason why this is possible. Because, once again, it just literally changes the ownership of the projectile from the enemy to yourself once you reflect it back towards them. It's as simple as that. I'm just amazed at how many synergistic properties this perk has. This video definitely sheds a lot of light onto this perk that I'm willing to bet a lot of you thought was trash. I hope you all now know better. <laughs> This has been 7 secret interactions that this ricochet perk has, and if you enjoyed the video and learnt something then be sure to share it around so that others can benefit from this knowledge as well. And as always a massive thank you to my Patreons and channel members, also a thank you to the data miners discord for confirming my suspicions on this perk, you're all a great help, thank you for making this video possible. Also be sure to check out my social media linked down below, and I guess thank you all for watching, I've been Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Relhalla.